we made it another week. This is the last week of training. I'm water loading, which means the competition is close. It's a week away today. So this week is just drinking lots of water and peeing. Then I will cut that out and dehydrate for the comp. Anyway, this week's training. I'm gonna start off by answering a couple of questions from the other videos. Do you find performing compound lift once a week is enough? Not really. It is for now because I only need the qualifying total. Not really very difficult. Normally I would wanna bench two or three times a week, squat and deadlift around two times a week each. This is just like the first practice competition. The real one, I'm gonna change the program and it will be very different. Do I use programming to plan the training volume? Not this time because I'm doing a cookie cutter program, so the volume's already built in. When I make my own programs, I do calculate the volume in Excel and make sure the volume is consistent for a block and then it goes up the next block and so on and so on. By being on a 1K calorie deficit, wouldn't you risk losing muscle mass? Yes. I have the same injury, it sucks. What do you do to ease the pain or prevent further damage? I can't do deadlifts for some time. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna quickly show you a few things I do. As if you watched last week, you'll know I got a little injury. If not, go watch it. So I sit down like this and I bought some bands from Amazon. They're the cheapest ones I could find, hip bands, and they're piss weak. So I just use all of them. Put them around your knees, put your foam roller in between. And then I do reps of squeezing my legs in as hard as I can for like 10 seconds and then pulling out as hard as I can for 10 seconds and then pulling in. And that's you're gonna strengthen around that SI joint and stuff. But back to that injury, I actually went and saw a specialist. They didn't think it was my SI joint. It was something to do with my back just tightening up on deadlifts and making me really stiff because I just put some pressure on a nerve or something from what I understand. Um, it's eased up a bit this week. I haven't done any deadlifts until today, which were my openers. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's the injury dealt with. So I keep seeing this uh, thing on YouTube suggested to me. It's most push-ups in 30 seconds. And the technique everyone does this with is rubbish. You use a toilet roll and tap your chest on it. As many as you can do in 30 seconds. I think the record is like 62 or something. Um, so anyway, decided to give that a go this week. Four, three, two. One. Is that 69? I think so. Assuming I cut the What was my first attempt? 50? I don't know. I tried to do a bit better technique there, like trying to force my arms locked. Yeah, yeah. But if I don't you, know whether it was it better. Looks like I don't know. That would be the world record, but I don't know what form counts or whatever. On all the other videos I've seen, you just have to touch the toilet roll. I just bought a massage gun. <laughs> <coughs> oh, God, it's getting it gets faster. Well, don't push it in that hard. I'm not an experienced like really massage. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Making me cough. Oh, Ooh. that's my <laughs> colour bone hurts. Okay, all my water cutting and rehydration supplements have arrived. So let's go through them. So 10 days before the competition, I'm going to drink tons of water each day. Um, that's going to release a hormone that makes my body want to flush out water. So then when I stop drinking the water, I'll still have that hormone in and it will flush out loads of water even when there's not much left. So it will help me dehydrate. And in the last two days, I will also add in these, which Uva Ursi leaves dandelion root extract, which will basically help that process more and help my urinary tract. 
and I will also in those two days the last two days cut out sodium and I'll have this instead so this is potassium salt it contains no sodium so I'll just sprinkle that on my meals which will be quite plain because I don't want anything that already has salt or sodium in and that is pretty much it then I'll have to dehydrate so I'll be peeing loads I'll, I'll stop water the day before the comp and I'll spread this on my body sweet sweat which is a cream that makes you sweat more and I will do like a steam suit or sauna suit or whatever or a bath hot baths and dehydrate and then as soon as I get off the scale I need to rehydrate so um, I'll have a shake that has fructose uh, fructose and dextrose two simple sugars it will also have sodium so I need to get the sodium back quickly so I'll try and have 5,000 milligrams of sodium this is iodized table salt so I'll get iodine in as well I will have a scoop of BCAAs in there a crushed caffeine pill and digestive enzymes so in the 10 days before I will be eating very small amounts and plain foods and not much food at all the night before or the day before the weigh-in so I need digestive enzymes so that when I get the food back in I can get it digesting quick and quickly get everything back to normal in my body so that will be the first uh, rehydration shake and then after that every two hours I'll have another rehydration shake um, with these in instead which are basically uh, general electrolyte tablets so they'll have sodium potassium magnesium calcium and stuff like that um, I won't have this normal sodium one it will already be in in those um, and yeah I'll do that every two hours while I eat food and get back to as heavy as possible before the competition I'll have already weighed in really light and then it's the goal is to get as heavy as possible basically in the day before the comp and then not so I feel ill or anything I'll just eat plain simple nice foods and be strong so yeah last squat session well second last squat session uh, I'm going kind of conservative it's supposed to be one five five four uh, three sets of five but I'm doing three sets of three um, just in case my back pops again it's feeling a little bit painful on the reps but uh, good enough to do this then next week we'll test openers and then the week I'll just cop <laughs> Come on, you pussy. Yep. And again, come on, control. How does it feel to be a small boy? <laughs> Yep. Easy. Oh. Squeeze that bar. Up. This is actually the last training day now. So, testing the openers. Alright, that squat's done. I really want to go 190, but because uh, 180 was so easy, but I'll just leave it to a comp day. It's not worth the risk. This is the weekly 2.5 increase. If I weigh in at 68, this is pretty much double body weight, but I don't know if I can pause it yet. I'm just going to touch and go for now. Yeah, 
My ass came up a tiny bit though. Okay, deadlift opener. Should be easy, but I'm worried about my back popping. I'm ready. Lightweight baby. Lightweight baby! Yeah, boy. Let's do it. See it, Hayden, come on. Light work, man. Easy. Fucking nothing, man. That's not an open thing. That's fucking, that's a joke. That's easy. <laughs> that is. All right, easy. My back's fine. I'll just open with that to qualify and then ramp up to like two, 220, 230. Second attempt and then see how I feel for a third. Maybe 240, 250. I don't know, we'll see. And that is the last heavy session. Now it's just like 50 kilos on each exercise for uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Nothing Thursday, weigh-in Friday, comp Saturday.